Have you ever noticed how the richest people in the world try to look like they are poor? You got Mark Zuckerberg wearing the same grey shirt and simple jeans despite his $185 billion wealth. The late Apple legend Steve Jobs who wore the same black turtleneck for years. And even Elon Musk is often just caught wearing a loose plain t-shirt even if he's got $195 billion to his name. Sometimes they even act like they are broke too. Like Warren Buffett who's known to eat a lot at McDonald's despite his net worth of $138 billion. And I would actually send somebody over to McDonald's. <laughs> Really get me something. <laughs> so, what's happening here? Is this simplicity some type of billionaire's secret that we all just need to start following? Or have they all somehow conspired to just fool us all with a fake humble image? Is some sort of propaganda strategy to normalize these billionaires where in fact they're out here buying islands. The real answers will surprise you. Especially when we reveal the answer to how much do you think is the price of Mark Zuckerberg's simple gray t-shirt? Is it five to ten dollars, three hundred to four hundred dollars or one thousand to two thousand? Night fam, lock in your answer in the comments before we surprise you with the truth. Because in this era of social media flex culture, it would make sense to show off and be proud of how rich you have become, right? I mean, you've seen rappers do it a lot, especially those coming from the bottom before they got to the top. But here's a fact on the, the true rich know. The more you try too hard to look rich, the more obvious it gets, you really are not. It's called poverty peacocking. And yes, think of it as the literal opposite of social climbing. Because just like how regular people have reasons to make themselves look wealthier than they really are, incredibly rich people have six genius reasons why they try to look poor. Number one, looking poor is good for sales. Remember, these super wealthy people are all genius businessmen and no matter how much money they already got, they need to keep their huge companies running. Research has shown that people seen as more relatable and approachable face fewer obstacles when trying to sell their product. Combine that with another study that showed consumers lean towards brands that seem humble and authentic. And you'll finally understand why someone as powerful as Mark Zuckerberg will still choose to wear the same old shirt. Even making small decisions around what you wear or what you eat for breakfast or things like that, um, they, they kind of make you tired and consume your energy. And I feel like I'm not doing my job if I spend any of my energy on things that are silly or frivolous about my life. But before we get to reason number two, let's talk about Steve Jobs and his turtleneck top. Because he used this strategy in such a clever way too. Look at this. That is Steve in a suit. Quite weird to see when you're not used to it, right? And that's because wearing those turtleneck tops often paired with jeans and sneakers, was obviously a calculated decision by Jobs to be seen as a creative visionary. You have to be run by ideas, not hierarchy. The best ideas have to win. Number two, they look more trustworthy to investors. Remember this guy? Former billionaire Sam Bankman Freed, or should I say fried, <laughs> who used to be called the poster boy of crypto, he actually used this poor look strategy to his advantage, fooling everyone who invested their money in him, of course, before he got convicted of fraud. Why don't you buy a Lamborghini, man? I didn't have any particular need for one. His big messy curly hair, the baggy shirt, the loose wrinkly shorts, the high socks and sneakers. It's believed he wanted to look like a boy genius, a young Einstein, a tech boy rebelling against traditional big finance. In fact, he attributed to getting bigger bonuses while on Wall Street because people thought he was some type of genius. And when you're the customer hoping to believe in someone's vision, 
you kind of want to see them live it as well, right? That's why you'll see the same pattern with many other tech founders who try to fittingly represent their companies, like Jack Dorsey, co-founder of the woke-friendly platform Twitter, tapping into his hippie innovator vibe. When you send a text, you can't really take it back. We wanted to preserve that vibe. Apple CEO Tim Cook, always looking like he's your regular corporate finance guy, someone you would trust to keep leading such a respected brand. There has to be some reason for doing it that's beyond the just being excellent at something. Number three, it's all part of big PR. And not many people are much louder about this than Warren Buffett. I'm sure at some point you've heard this story about how simple his lifestyle is, with his regular McDonald's meals and his old beat-up car. I drink probably five 12-ounce Cokes a day. When you look at this man, you'll see the image of a humble grandpa who just happened to be lucky with his investments. Heck, his wife was even reported to have complained about a $4 cup of coffee during a summer camp for billionaires. But whether or not it was authentic for them to say those things, they indeed wanted us to know it. They were likely glad that the business insider picked up the juicy gossip and titled it Warren just became even more relatable for a billionaire. He picks his breakfast based on what the market is doing. Because as we've explained in number two, the more Warren Buffett is seen as this frugal guy, the more investors will trust in him and the integrity of how he runs his business. Number four, looking poor could get them less attention. Like less attention from bad people in public who could steal from them, scam them, or kidnap them based on how rich they look. Most of the wealthiest people, you wouldn't even know that they're actually wealthy. After all, when you see that Elon Musk is out there living in this tiny home near the SpaceX factory. You bought a um, house for 45K? Yeah. What, is it like big or is it? No, it's small. <laughs> is it, is it's it very a, small. It's a tiny that's, house, That's great right? value, 45K. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She becomes more charming in your eyes. You think to yourself, Oh, what an eccentric rebel. And so, you suddenly forget how much power and influence he could actually misuse. On top of that, the Wall Street Journal claimed that instead, Elon Musk actually spent most of his time in an 8,000 square foot, 12 million dollar mansion. And that is where it gets dangerous. Because, number five, it's a sly move that keeps people poor. Because when billionaires are out there getting photographed to be living simple lives, wearing simple clothes, supposedly eating fast food, saving every penny they can in the name of their company, then it kind of becomes harder for their own employees to demand better wages from their big bosses. The protest campaigns being called Make Amazon Pay. After all, if Warren Buffett drives an old car, why would you need a new one? If Elon Musk is living in a tiny house, why the hell would you demand for more? They are reinforcing a common belief in finance that somehow all your problems are just solvable if you just didn't spend so much. But hey, if we want to give them the benefit of the doubt, there's also a chance that number six, they just have nothing to prove anymore. Jay-Z is getting richer and richer and he's wearing less and less ah! shit. Wealthy doesn't have to prove to anybody that they're wealthy. Like that famous quote says, money talks, wealth whispers. Because when you've already reached a certain comfortable status in life, you have no one to impress anymore. People who are wearing Louis Vuitton are trying to look rich, and how are you doing that? Well, you're making the owner of Louis Vuitton rich. You will dress down so you can attract real friendships who will not associate with you simply for your money. You will not wear flashy jewelry because that will only set you up for more judgment and jealousy. And in the first place, you know that it was never purchasing items with big designer logos or sports cars that got you where you are. As Troy Bombardia commented, and by the way, I encourage all of you to also leave your thoughts in the comments down below, knife fam. When you have enough money, you simply impress by being who you are. Don't fake it till you make it, just make it. So now, going back to our bonus question, how much do you think is the price of Mark Zuckerberg's simple gray shirt? Well, the surprising answer is that it's actually from $300 to $400. Yes, because Zuckerberg 
Zuckerberg's iconic grey shirts were custom made by luxury brand Brunello Cuccinelli. And that was years ago, so they're more expensive now. It's not $300 anymore, it's $600 for a plain t-shirt. And this silent luxury style could be true for pretty much every billionaire out there. Bezos is not buying his clothes on Amazon. Those boots are actually $1,100 from one of the top stealth wealth companies, Loro Piana. <laughs> oh well. If there is something you should learn today from these clever billionaires, ladies and gentlemen, it's to never trust someone's true nature based on how they look or what they wear. After all, the real wealth in life has never been something that could easily fool your eyes.